Julia and Alex, you are always new. Evening, everybody, let me come down for a moment. Um, submit pieces for the Love Notes theme, I thought, right, I know what I'm going to write. I'm a big fan of John Keats, the um, 18th, 19th century romantic poet, uh, poet whose um, anniversary of his death is approaching uh, 200 years, any minute now. Um, you'll know him, Ode to a Nightingale, Ode in the Grecian Urn, Thing of Beauty is a Joy Forever, that's your man Keats. Um, he died young, he had tuberculosis, he died by the time he was 25, and so he never fulfilled his, um, his, his potential, his promise. Um, he was very poor, um, he lived a, quite a, a, a trammelled, poverty-stricken, disease-ridden life, um, so wasn't ever able to fulfill his potential or um, uh, get married to the girl he loved. The girl he loved was Fanny Braun, she lived next door to him. And they had this um, very sort of passionate but chaste, hopeless relationship, um, uh, which we know about in detail because his letters to her survive. So my piece is um, uh, sort of extracted and arranged phrases from letters that he wrote to her. And then I passed it on to Alex and he made a beautiful thing of it. So he's going to tell you about the music. Great. So, um, thanks, Julia. So, when Julia gave me these words, these, uh, these beautiful words, small fragments, and it got me thinking. So, Keats was a romantic poet, and I was thinking about I was thinking about romantic music, which is a very specific time in music, and what it was it was a rebellion against the Enlightenment, about the idea that you could rationalize everything, that you could quantify everything. And the romantics were all about the things that were intangible, that things that were sublime, irrational, unexplainable. And um, one thing that was very big in the romantic period was the idea that a fragment, a very small idea, could mean so much more. So when I started this piece, I started with two small fragments, one that goes, da da da, and another one that goes, da da. And those fragments are the things that inform the whole piece. So they're, they're sort of, my little secret, they're hidden in certain places in the piece. But what I wanted to get with, with the piece was a sense of love being something beyond words, beyond rational, a sense of wonder, maybe even, maybe even on the verge of obsession. But it's, it's something very intense, and I hope you find it very special. And I'm grateful for Julia for giving me such an opportunity. Um, we hope you enjoy the piece. It's called You Are Always New. Alex, Julia.